My name is John Daly. I am the proud mayor of the great city of Tallahassee. And I have to tell you that uh, I'm a little nervous tonight. I get to do public speaking all the time, but this is a very special night. And it is my honor and privilege to kick off this night in style. There is no doubt that the past two years have been very difficult for our community and across the country to say the least. Our country has suffered, our community has suffered, but as I have said in my State of the City address, we are a resilient community and through it all, Tallahassee never gave up. I do think that deserves applause. Thank you, Reverend Faust. And that is why I also think it is so very important that we pause and we take stock of how we've gotten to this point, and more importantly, those citizens that have gotten Tallahassee to this point and it moves us forward. Look, just like every city, we have our real challenges, but I have been dismayed by those that only want to tear down our city and speak ill of all the problems that we are facing, when in fact, Tallahassee is the best city in the world to live, work, and play. Today, we are not tearing down, but today we are uplifting and celebrating. We are celebrating individuals that truly represent the spirit of Tallahassee. And today, we are starting a new tradition in the Tallahassee Awards, celebrating the best that we have to offer through our neighbors. This year's recipients were nominated by the community and they were selected from more than 150 individual nominations from their dedicated Tallahassee citizens and neighbors. I hope you will notice some common threads binding this year's recipients together. They all go above and beyond every day. They don't ask for permission or wait until someone asks them for help. When they see a need, they simply stand up and they step in. Through community advocacy, arts and culture, mentorships, community sports team, anti-hunger initiatives, this year's recipients have all sought to make Tallahassee a city that sees and serves all. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, your award recipients. Talithia, will you come join me, please? Congratulations. It's tough to know where to begin in introducing our first recipient. By the way, today is her birthday. <laughs> One nomination simply stated that she wears many hats and looks absolutely amazing in all of them. I don't think I've come across a community issue since I've been in office that she hasn't somehow been involved in. She advocates for her community, both in the community, in City Hall, and at the Capitol. She is fierce and she is effective. She established the Greater Bond Neighborhood Association and helped her neighborhood receive over $6 million from the CRA for infrastructure upgrades. <laughs> residential facade grants and hyperlocal economic development that is lifting all citizens up. She serves on the Leon County School Board's Title I Advisory Committee and has been a tireless advocate for children all across our city. And when she saw literacy needs not being met in some neighborhoods, she started a traveling pop-up preschool to literally meet kids where they are. I am proud to call her my friend, and I am proud to present Talithia Edwards with the Tallahassee Award. Congratulations. Good evening. Um, thank you, 
Mayor Daly, City of Tallahassee, for this award. I'm very honored and super floored that it is being uh, given to us on my actual birthday. So it is extra special. I want to thank my family, my husband, my children, who all lend me to this community um, all the time. Um, I appreciate them, my village, my sister is here. Um, for, for just being supportive because if you all work in the community, you understand how heavy it can be sometimes, especially serving in areas like the one where I serve. Uh, but I am proud to be in Tallahassee. I never imagined when I came here some 20 years ago for college that I would call Tallahassee home. And I could have never imagined that I would advocate and feel as passionate about the things that happen in this city as I do. But I am grateful to serve with wonderful leaders like this. I, I looked at the awardee, the recipients, and I was like, whoo, I don't deserve to be in that category. But I am, I am, we are blessed to have such wonderful leaders in this community, and none of us do it alone. So thank you again, Mayor Daly, City of Tallahassee, all of you for thinking of the work we do as valuable. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take a second to recognize uh, two dear friends and colleagues, Commissioner Curtis Richardson, Commissioner Diane Williams-Cox for joining us. Thank you so much. I also saw retired Judge Charlie Dodson's with us as well. Judge, it's good to see you as well. Thank you. Aurora Torres Hansen, please come forward. Our next recipient has been a consistent voice for inclusiveness and multiculturalism in the city of Tallahassee. Rather than sit back and complain that not enough was being done to include other cultures, she has done the work of knitting Asian food and culture into the fabric of our community. She has taken a leading role advocating for the Asian community in our city and has been a pivotal point in bringing together world culture performances for events presented by the city of Tallahassee, Leon County, and many organizations in our area that promote diversity. Diversity and inclusion aren't just words we can trot out when something bad happens. They require intentional, long-term commitment to education, engagement, and action. Our recipients work as the Education and Outreach Program Director for the Asian Coalition of Tallahassee has done just this by offering new experiences to countless Tallahassee residents and visitors by breaking down barriers and building cultural bridges. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present Aurora Torres Hansen with the Tallahassee Award. Congratulations. I dance better than speak sometimes. <laughs> I do teach dance. But I would like to thank Tallahassee, uh, Mayor Daly, the people that I've worked with, with the city of Tallahassee. I've been here 35 years. And, and I'm just very grateful for the, the fact that you embraced my family and I in this community. We have to work together and make this an even better community because we have so much to offer. And so I leave you with that. My parents always said, Aurora, you're a guest in Tallahassee. You need to give back. And I am doing that. And that's their legacy for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Aurora. Thank you. Mr. Royal King, will you please join me? This next recipient has served the Tallahassee community for over a decade, 
since he and another brother of Omega Phi Psi Fraternity Incorporated founded the Omega Lamplighters in 2008, a mentoring program for young men from fourth to 12th grade. A lot of people talk about the need to mentor boys and young men, but he actually does it. The Lamplighters instills the principles of leadership, academic excellence, maturity, and perseverance into the youth they work with because they know that investing in our young people is always the safest investment of a community. Since its creation, the Lamplighters have expanded to include chapters in Wakulla County, Gadsden County, Jefferson County, and they recently celebrated the opening of the Lighthouse right here in Tallahassee, which serves as a facility for the Lamplighters. It is my honor and privilege for his unwavering commitment to our youth to present the Tallahassee Award to Mr. Royal King. Royal. Good evening. Uh, it, it's truly an honor to be amongst uh, such uh, great company. I, I just want to say first that uh, I'm extremely honored uh, and thankful to Mayor Daly and the city uh, for, for this honor. Uh, the, the work that I do, honestly, it, it's always been about the kids because I was one of those kids uh, when I was growing up in Dallas, Texas. And uh, while I was home, I found an essay I'd wrote uh, when I was a senior in high school that, that said <laughs> at that time that I was going to, in some kind of way, give back to young men and help them in the ways that I was helped by mentoring programs. And uh, as I was standing up here today in this moment, thinking about that letter uh, and looking out at some of our young men, uh, and that vision that I had at that time was that I just wanted to change the life of at least one kid. And uh, through the help of hundreds of people, we, we've touched the lives of thousands um, in this community and beyond. So uh, I'm truly thankful, uh, most importantly, to the people that allow me to do what I do, uh, but then also empower me to do it. Um, I'm standing here today uh, as the recipient, but also know behind me there are uh, 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 hundreds of people in the community of people as far as Dallas, Texas, who are responsible for this award as well. Uh, some of them are here today. Uh, who, who keep me accountable uh, and remind me that um, it's okay to fail. And so one of the things I just wanna share with you all is that uh, it is our perseverance that, that determines uh, the difference in our success and our failure. And, and honestly, I've, I've failed so many times um, in getting this program to where it is. I've, I've dedicated over 10 years of my, my life and I know I look old, but I'm not that old. Uh, and, and, and serving this community because I just wanted to be what was there for me. And I'm now watching the fruits of that labor to see young men who've come matriculate through this program and they're now mentors and good fathers, good husbands, good community leaders. And, and, and that's what it's about. We just wanted to touch one and touch the thousand. So I received this award uh, today on, the, on behalf of my family, uh, the community of people that work with us in this program and all of the kids and parents that allow us to, to mold their young men into kings. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Chris Petley, will you please join me? And I love it. You got to tell us. You got to be there. The consummate citizen of Tallahassee, an amazing person and friend. Mr. Tallahassee himself. That's how some folks describe this recipient. Apparently helping shepherd our schools through two extremely trying years, balancing the health and safety of needs of the Leon County school system, trying to keep our students and children safe. The educational needs just wasn't enough, Chris. He's also the president and the founder of the minor league nonprofit Tallahassee Soccer Club. Established, that's right, Reverend Faust, that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Established in 2018 and the Eastern Conference champion in 2019, the club 
has been off to a roaring success. But more important than the success on the field is how it has so quickly become an integral part of Tallahassee, and the reason why is very simple. At the heart of this club and our recipients' commitment to it is one word, community. And that is what Chris is all about. From the players to the club members, literally to the logo, to the mascot, celebrating our city's history, talent and heart are essential to everything the club does and Mr. Chris Petley does. Never gave up on his dream and our city will forever be richer for it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present the Tallahassee Award to Mr. Chris Petley. Uh, I just want to echo a lot of what's already been said. It's an honor to be among such amazing leaders in our community. Um, I want to thank the mayor and his staff for creating this at a time when I think our community really needs it. And I look forward to helping build this uh, program over the, the coming years and, and spread the gospel of it. Um, I want to thank my wife, my extended family, and the volunteers um, for everything they've done. When we started this club, and I know a lot of you think, you know, it's a soccer team, but really, we, uh, we started the club to focus on people, building a community, and soccer was always way down here. So, you know, we'll continue to do everything we can to make this city proud. Every one of our players that puts on that jersey, they know they're representing the city. We're proud to represent you. We hope to see some of you out there next summer. Um, and, uh, again, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you to the staff, city commissioners that are here. We appreciate you all very much. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Ms. Monique Van Pelt, will you please come join me? Humanity and compassion. That's how I describe our final Tallahassee Award recipient. Her work in our community has been marked by her ability to see the humanity in others and her compassion in serving them. She spent years at the Kearney Center serving those who are experiencing homelessness and advocating for a more robust continuum of care that starts long before someone has a need for emergency sheltering and continues long after they leave. And now she serves as the CEO of Second Harvest of the Big Ben, fighting hunger in our region. Not only does she navigate supply chain logistics and numerous food distribution sites and events, she's been an important voice, a critical voice in our community as the pandemic saw hunger rise to new levels. More than a year ago, my office began having conversations on how to take needed services, like getting IDs, job services, directly to neighborhoods, instead of expecting people to come to us, the government. Pretty quickly, we learned that our recipient was well underway, had the system in place, that we were happy to join up and jump on the train and make sure that we were part of the success through her weekly neighborhood empowerment events. She wasn't waiting for someone else to do it. She was moving forward. And we quickly jumped on to partner to offer wraparound services and connect, inv connect individuals to the resources that they need, whether that was food, obtaining IDs, getting questions answered about their utility bills, the full gamut of services. For serving our city with human humility, humanity, and compassion, I am proud to present the Tallahassee Award to Monique Van Pelt. Um, good evening. My name is Monique Van Pelt. Thank you so much for the introduction and for the recognition. Um, on the west side of town, there's a road, Grady Road, um, and on that road, there's a tiny church, um, Tabernacle of Praise. And last week was a huge week for Second Harvest because that particular partner agency reached um, 
one million pounds of food being distributed. If any of you are familiar with Tabernacle of Praise, yeah. Wow. Um, I don't know, I was looking at these two tents and the size of their church might be six of them. Uh, I feel like she works in less than 100 square feet, um, but this woman has uh, Pastor Jones, like a heart and a spirit that's the size of this city. Through the pandemic, I feel like I've had a really remarkable um, vantage point, a, an opportunity to see our community, to watch resilience, to see the beauty that exists. Uh, I am comfortable accepting this award on behalf of Second Harvest, the staff that do incredible work um, to make sure that the food gets out, my board of directors who are uh, endlessly supportive and um, are behind me 100%, volunteers that are with us every single day, um, to my husband who's there to listen to my fears, my dreams. Uh, I, can't, I can't do this work alone and I just am incredibly grateful to you in your office. Um, to everybody that's here, to the neighbors that make this work possible, um, thank you all so much. Curtis, Diane, will you come join me, please? While uh, my colleagues are joining me, uh, I would like to thank Agape Lemonade and Boards by Alexis for providing the refreshments and the snacks. I would like to encourage everyone to uh, stay after, congratulate the award recipients, and please enjoy the refreshments. Thank you all so much. We certainly do appreciate it. I have a very special presentation that you may or may not be aware of this evening. To my right, we are joined by Mr. Tom and Barbara Rollins. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will please stand. The key to the city is one of the highest honors I can bestow upon someone as the mayor of the city of Tallahassee. And I could not think of a better time to recognize this couple for their lifetime of service to Tallahassee than right now during the inaugural Tallahassee Awards recognizing citizens for their service and dedication to our community. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rollins family has been in the Red Hills of North Florida for nearly 200 years. And it is no secret that today's recipients have been role models to many and are respected by all. As one person told me, they exemplify courage, faith in the impossible, long suffering for the disadvantaged, and have hope for a political process becoming better each day. For decades, actually generations, this couple has invited the community into their home, hosting family, friends, community leaders for robust discussions on issues facing our community and solutions to help make this city better for everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, for decades, for generations, this couple has truly helped steer Tallahassee to the city she is today and in the direction that we are heading in tomorrow. They have never given up and they have never wavered in their quest to make Tallahassee the best that she can be. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am honored to present Barbara and Tom Rollins. If you will please come join me. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present Tom and Barbara Rollins officially the key to the city of Tallahassee for their dedication and service to our community.
Let me see if I can get that down just a little bit for you, Tom. Well, it's a pleasure to say that Tallahassee is my home. I'm so thankful to be here today. I'm blessed to have my wife and family here and friends here. It's always a great pleasure to have so many beautiful people around. It's nothing like having great family and great friends. And I'd like to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. And all have a blessed day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, I'd like to thank Mel Daly for making us worthy for this great plaque. <laughs> we accept it with dignity and respect. And thanks again, family, friends. Uh, you was a great supporter for us and still be a great supporter for us. And thank, I thank everybody for coming out tonight and supporting us. And thanks again, Mayor. Now, Diane Curtis, Tom and Barbara, if we can get a picture right here. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. Barbara, okay. you want to hide? Yeah. Come on in. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. And once again, formally, I'd like to ask the Tallahassee Award winners to please stand. Talithia Edwards, Aurora Torres Hansen, Royal King, Chris Patley, Monique Van Pelt, and receiving the key to the city, Barbara and Tom Rollins. Thank you for coming out. Please stick around for reception, and uh, God bless each and every one of you in the city of Tallahassee. Thank you.